All right, so we just finished talking about revenue expenditures. Now let's talk about capital expenditures. These are the things that when we pay for them, on the, when we put them on the, the, the asset, they're actually going to do something substantial to the, to the asset. They're either going to extend its useful life or give it more productive capability. And so we need to understand you know, how to classify these things because each classification is going to tell us how we're going to record these. So first, let's talk about what a capital expenditure is. Uh, these are additional costs of plant assets to provide benefits extending beyond just this year or this current period. They're going to have effects for you know more than one year at least. Um, accounting, uh, are, are, these are accounted for in one of two ways depending on the effects of the cost. So this is why I said it's important for you to be able to classify these because the way that they affect the cost or the way they affect the asset is going to tell you how you're going to journalize these. One, do they improve the quality of them? Okay, do they, do they give you more productive capability? Do, are you able to do more things with them? I kind of look at that one more as a catch-all for the end because the next one I'm going to talk about is really the first question I go with. And that is, or excuse me, uh, these are capital expenditure costs. Um, is the, or excuse me, when you're dealing with it in this, this uh, classification, improving the quality of. If it falls in this classification, the capital expenditure cost is added to the historical asset, or historical cost of the asset. It's pretty much what I'm saying is, if it falls in this category, you're just going to add it to the asset. Okay, it's capitalized in the asset. So whatever the asset is, that's what you're going to debit. You're going to add it to it. Now this is the other one I was talking about. Does it extend the useful life of? This is usually the first question I ask because if it's something that's substantial and it doesn't extend the useful life of, then by nature it's going to fall into improving the quality of. Um, but again, does it extend the useful life of? Is it going to give me more years? So I'm going to kind of give you an example of both of these just so you can kind of understand what these are talking about. Uh, extend the useful life of. That would be like putting a new motor in a vehicle. That's going to give you an extra five years, ten years, whatever, okay, depending on how hard you run your vehicle. Putting a new transmission. Um, putting a new roof on a building. That would fall into extending the useful life of. Improving the quality of would be like putting an air conditioner in a building. It's not going to give you more life, but it's going to improve the quality of it. Or something, and again, this is an exaggerated example, but it kind of proves the point. Something like putting a trailer hitch ball in the back of a truck. That would be something that you could say would improve the quality of it because you could do more things with it now. Now, granted, you can get away with that with material because it's immaterial towards the cost of the vehicle, but you get the idea. That's kind of why I was saying being able to classify the two, knowing if it does it improve the quality of or does it extend the useful life of. Now, if it extends the useful life of, what we do is the capital expenditure cost is shown as a reduction in the accumulated depreciation. So recap real quick. If it extends the useful life of, we add that cost to the historical cost, or you know, we put it in the journal entry as whatever that asset is. If it extends useful life of, we take it away from accumulated depreciation, what we have already depreciated. We kind of look at it as we've offset the, some depreciation that we've already depreciated. So that's what we're doing with these. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to do the examples for these expenditures, uh, and hopefully it'll make a little bit more sense.